Right, I'm at Clevedon. I've been to St Mary's Walton. And I now walk down the hill to try and warm up. It's quite a breezy, chilly day. This is Cleveland Pier. I've got photographs of it before, but I've never actually videoed it before. I'm going to have a nice hot cup of coffee after doing this bit. Zara and I went in a place called Scarlet's, I think, and had a coffee once, or somewhere over there we did. Moon and Sixpence. No, it could even been there. We definitely had a something when we came here. I had the camper van when we came here before. There's Poets Island out there. I'll do a video on the way down, I think. Take some pictures on the way back. Yeah, that was a pub once. Quite a busy pub, I believe, as well. And in the ground here, you've got, in the floor, you've got names of people that have died. You've all got their names carved, and on here as well, that all the way along, people have had their plaques put on here. It's quite a good idea, isn't it? It could be someone I know on there, but I'm not going to... It's very breezy today. I didn't bring a coat and I've put my shorts on for the first time, but I nearly didn't bring a jumper. I am so glad I brought my jumper. And I, would, I, ne I did pack my wind mac, but took it out. They said it was going to be 22 degrees. Probably is out of the wind. Yeah, I got quite, quite, quite cold after the bus journey. Then all the windows were open. I've been used to wearing scarf, hat and, and gloves up till now, and jeans, and a coat until the last two days, and I've come out trusting the weather, but it's a lovely day, and I'm out on Clevedon Pier. I think the last time I came out was with Zara, and we got cold then. What I'll do, I'm going to do this lovely walk, do this video, and then I'll have a hot coffee and maybe a sandwich. I didn't bring my flask either, that was another thing I didn't bring, because I was trying to cut down on carrying stuff. Anyway, this is an ancient, not ancient, this is an old pier well used in the past still fishermen still come here and fish off it and also in the past um, passengers used to be picked up and ferried in different places from here it was a very busy pier from that point of view not so much an entertainment pier as a functional pier for ferrying people about 
Now over there you've got what's called Poet's Walk, which I want to do as well today, because I've never actually done the walk, but I've been to that church in the distance there, which I think is called St Andrews. And there's another church I want to do, further in town on the hill, which I'll leave later for the day after doing all the the seafront bit. There's a Roman Catholic church just up there on the hill. I can just see Sand Bay in the distance over there. It's very misty and there's a few people out here as well. But I don't want to drop my phone, it could fall down one of them cracks as I'm walking along. The sea is moving quite fast under here. You can hear it lapping. I know I felt a bit scared when me and Zara came out here. I remember that because I, you keep thinking the planks are going to break or something like that. And even now I've started to walk really gingerly. I said I'm going to take some photos on the way back. Yeah, this was once a very busy pier. There's a church in the distance. There's one with a big spike. And then there's one with a proper tower, which I'm going to t later on today. I brought other cameras. The Roman Catholic Church can be seen quite well there now. It's nice that it's still got all these features as well, isn't it? Presented by Neil Murison. I'm going to turn off for a minute. I'll do a bit more video in a minute.